Now let's focus on while loop and the break statement. So we know how to use a for loop, which uh, loops a, a certain number of time, a specific number of times. However, I'd like to take a look at this uh, while loop here. It's very similar to a for loop. You don't, you can use either one. It doesn't really matter which one you use. But let's look at uh, one one um, way of using the while loop here. So the boolean condition here is while one equal equals one. One will always be equal to one, so this will always be true. So this here essentially means it's going to loop forever. As long as this boolean condition is true, it's going to loop forever and ever and ever. And sometimes that causes problems. Your your computer might get laggy. It might it, it might uh, freeze things up. Or <clears throat> okay, so what so what we're doing here is we're going to initialize the variable x as a zero. So the first time we loop, it prints out the value of x, which is 0. It's going to increase or increment the, the value of x by 1. So the previous value was 0. 0 plus 1 becomes 1. And so every time it loops, it's becoming higher and higher by 1. So as it loops, it becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Finally, it's 6. If x is greater than 5, finally, only in the, under the circumstance circumstance that x indeed is greater than 5, we break out of the while loop. This break statement here has a special meaning. It breaks out of the closest loop. So it's going to break out of there and finally I'm going to print all done. So if I run this, run module, it says 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all done. So let me close that. Uh, an alternative way of doing this 1 equals 1 code is while 1. This here is the same thing as um, 1 equal equals 1, which means while 1 essentially means it's going to loop forever. So let me run this again. Let's, let's change some numbers here. While, while x is greater than 3, it's going to break. So let me run it. And 0, 1, 2, 3, all done. So we see that it's looping a few times. Uh, and it, it breaks more quickly because uh, x being greater than 3 is a condition that uh, that occurs more quickly than x is greater than 5. Alright, let me just try something for fun. Instead of number 1, I can even write the word TRUE. Capital T-R-U-E is a reserved word. You can see it turn purple. So this here should be the same code. It should also do the same thing, which it did. I wonder what would happen if I just typed in lowercase TRUE. It's not changing color, so I'm a bit worried. So let me run it. And we have an error. So true is not defined. Make sure we have a capital T. Python, like many other program languages, is case sensitive. So please make sure that we use the word capital true, true with a letter T. And we have the word break here, which breaks out of the loop. All right, something to think about yourself is what would be the output if we were to make this increase by 2 and change this to 5? I'll let you think about that by yourself for a little challenge. Congratulations, you now have a little bit of insight into the while loop as well as the break statement.